nice to be home. You're appreciated here. Of course. Maybe yeah. a little more? <laughs> I, I don't know. By, by, by the family, at least. Yeah. <laughs> the comeback. Um, so tell me about Imaginary Mary. Sure. So, uh, yeah, about a, about a, I guess, almost two years ago now, I had a meeting with Doug Robinson, who produces the Goldbergs. And, uh, and we sat down and talked about what kind of TV shows we liked and things that we thought would be cool to have on air now. And it became clear that it's, uh, to me, over the last couple of years working in visual effects and animation, that we could possibly do a show now with a completely animated character um, that's a live action sitcom. Um, and, and Doug kind of helped me learn what the schedule was and what the restraints and, and sort of expectations of TV was. And, and thinking about it, we thought there was maybe a way. So we thought, well, maybe it could be a show about like an imaginary friend or a person who has uh, a creature that only they can see uh, that sort of talks into their ear, uh, gives them advice, convinces them to do good things, sometimes bad things, and uh, Did and you go have from there. an imaginary friend? I don't know. So uh, I have to ask my parents to be specific, but I think my little brother did. He had one, uh, two, Doido and Javi. Okay. And uh, I, I, I had one called Red Light, Green Light, but I might have just made it up to have one to... Um, be like brother. Yeah, be like a little, little brother, maybe. <laughs> it just sound, mine sounds a little like it's trying hard. <laughs> and, uh, uh -huh. and his sounds real. That, that sounds like a real made-up name. But the concept <laughs> is you've got that voice talking to you, and, you know, I... I, you know, it seems like everything I read now talks about listening, being mm -hmm. aware, and so you're kind of doing this in, a, in, a, in an artistic way. Sure, I think, well, our, the way the show kind of shaped up, and you start with the concept and then you start to think about what the characters might be, and when we brought in David Gracio, who's the showrunner of the show, he, he made it, uh, he brought the human side of his own life into it. He's a, he's a dad, he had two daughters. Uh, he was divorced, and he met a woman who never wanted kids, never wanted anything to do with kids, and, um, and, but they fell in love, and she became part of the family, and our version, our show is about a character like, like his wife, Alice, who was played by Jenna Elfman. It's basically that. She's, a ki she's someone who didn't think she was ever going to be involved with kids, and when, when she does make that decision to uh, engage, the imaginary friend shows up to try to talk her out of it at first, and then eventually is convinced as well. Very good. Yeah. Um, you were there Oscar night. Oh, well, before I get to that, <laughs> before I get to that, one more question about the show. Any pre-reviews out? I mean, you have critics look at things before they ever launch. Yes. Yeah. What are you hearing? Uh, we've had really great, uh, we've screened the first two episodes, the pilot and episode two, and it's been a really nice response. You know, people have loved it. Uh, people who love the Goldbergs, it's, it's like mostly the same the same team, it's it plus me. Uh, so it's been really kind of uh, fun to jump into that world, and I think it fits really nicely in ABC's lineup of comedy shows. Uh, so people seem to be excited, but nothing really matters until the public sees it and we see how they, you know, critics can say whatever. Uh, luckily it's good, but we just care about what the audience is. Like. So now all of your friends in the tri-state are going to really <laughs> be seeing your work. Yeah. What's your level of nervousness? Oh, I, I mean, I've been making, you know, been involved in Disney films and, and Sony Animation before that, and it was always, you care a little bit what people think, but as long as the, the work is fun, things take so long to make that uh, the process of making them just has to be fun. And uh, you hope that people love it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, so you were there Oscar night. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was... Everybody, you were in the audience. I when was. The whole thing happened at the end. No, sort no, of. it's not. What so um, during the last commercial break, my wife is going to uh, have, have our first baby in four weeks. Congratulations. So um, she was very hungry. It was five hours from the hors d'oeuvres to dinner. So during the commercial break before Best Picture, we left to the governor's ball to have dinner and didn't see any of that. Um, we, s we missed the most historic moment in, <laughs> in the last yeah. 50 years of Oscar history, but we... Uh, but you got your wife fed. <laughs> yes, yes. She, you know, the, the baked potato and, and yeah. chicken pot pie upstairs. Um, that it was delicious. Uh, and you, it was funny because you would see, we heard that what the, what the first winner was, and then everybody's like, oh, okay. And you kind of tune out, and then a few seconds later, it made it through the few, you know, yeah. the crowd of uh, other hungry people. Um, wow. 
who what had happened, yeah. and then then everybody's on their phones, you know, checking, right. looking right. for the video. Yeah. Um, what's the best part of having won an Oscar? Uh, the access to people who can help you make stuff. I think uh, you know you, it's a struggle a long time to be listened to and to, to be given the confidence in you know to make your own things and uh, after all af after that all the doors open so you can pretty much uh, explore and try to make to make what you've always wanted to make at least for a while so I've been doing that over the last couple of years and um, you know the, the short with Google is one of those things that kind of bridges the gap between you know a studio and another TV or film project and then there's a couple other things that are brewing that are kind of around that are really close to happening as well so um, that's really what it does is it lets you kind of jump into things that you think could be really interesting and should be made and help them get made.